You're looking at the all new Marzocchi Z2 bomber. It's a 120 millimeter, 29er fork, just arrived in South Africa. There are many things, I've just done a first ride on it. There are many things to like about it. But before we get into that, let's just chat a little bit about the history of this iconic Italian brand. The Marzocchi brothers started producing suspension for the motorcycle industry 60 years ago. They, they, uh, the iconic, well, the signature technology to their brand was the open oil bath system, and they produced suspension for the likes of BMW, Kajiva, Aprilia, KTM, fantastic, iconic motorcycle brands. Fast forward into the uh, mid 80s and early 90s, as the mountain bike industry began to take off, mountain bikers started asking for suspension for forks and uh, the Mozaki brothers responded. They responded with um, what would prove to be many market leaders from the mythical Orange Lower uh, Z1, there uh, was the Monster T, the Super T, the Shiver, the Triple Eight, the 55. Those of you who are riding back then will know about the models I'm talking about. Uh, Mozaki was also, funny enough, the the, uh, the first suspension designer to first suspension maker to produce a 29er fork, um, and in fact they produced the first single crown upside down fork. So they've always been at the forefront of innovation. Fast forward to now, and uh, Mozaki is now a sister brand of Fox suspension. Most of you know that. Uh, the upside in that is there's a lot of technology being shared. So let's get back to this Z2. It's um, 34 millimeter stanchions. It's a 120, 29er fork in a short offset. You can bump up the travel to a 130 or 140 mil uh, version if you want. Um, the things I like about it is it, it has the Fox float um, air spring and uses the Fox's volume spaces to control your bottom out to, to give you that ramp so you can get the setup dialed for you. But it also has a unique two Marzocchi damper with the fully external adjust up here, which uh, takes it from firm all the way through to open. That's up, up on the top here. Um, the fork is a 29er, as I said, but the tire, the tire compatibility, it takes a 2.6. So can't really see from this angle but there's a lot of space under the arch you it actually looks to me like you could get even a 2.8 in there officially it's a 2.6 tire compatibility but I think you could squeeze in more if you wanted to um, 34 millimeter stanchions give you a lot of direct precise steering on the trails um, I think the nicest thing about it is it's a really economical, economical option for anybody looking at running an upgrade on their bike. So if you are looking at moving to a 120, 130, 140 fork from whatever bike you've got, uh, or if you are just looking at getting a, a new fork, sprucing up your bike a little bit, the fork will make a significant change to the ride of, of uh, your bike. If It's a great item to upgrade. Um, and the best thing about it is it's an under 10 grand option. They are fantastically priced. Um, anyway, I'm going to do some more shredding on it. The full review is going to be out in a couple of weeks. Um, until then, I'm going to smash it, huck it, and send it, and see you on the trails. Cheers.